Hi, I'm Adrian Bowles, founder of Storm Insights and executive analyst with RT Insights. On our recent RT Insights road trip, I had an opportunity to sit down for a wide-ranging discussion with Dr. John Bates, CEO of Plat1 and author of Thingalytics, a recent book that looks at modern analytics in the context of the Internet of Things. It was way too much material for an internet video, so I've selected a few minutes of highlights to share with you here. We've got the book here, and we'll zoom in. Right? We've got Thingalytics by Dr. John Bates. And one of the reasons that we're talking, um, many reasons for us to, to chat with you, but besides the book, you're just starting a new role, and everything that you're doing is uh, tied into the Internet of Things. So maybe you can tell us just a little bit about the book first, what caused you to do that, or what got you um, interested enough to, to make the commitment to write the book, and then about your new role. Tell us about the company. Absolutely. Well, firstly, the book, Thingalytics. Mm -hmm. It's all about smart big data analytics for the Internet of Things. Right. And, you know, the Internet of Things, to me, is the new industrial revolution. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's going to touch every aspect of our lives and, and connect, you know, the world of the Internet, the world of the enterprise and applications to real world assets. So it's going to effectively make, you know, the mobile Internet come alive where, you know, experiences to us around offers in shops or okay. around you know vehicles that can take us where we want to go or in the enterprise you know around intelligent logistics and manufacturing um, and supply chain really can can come to life and real world objects can, can, can come to life so the reason I wrote the book mm -hmm. is is a couple of reasons number one is to actually say there's all these fantastic stories out there. I've been working for a number of years in these areas, you know, intelligent customer experience, connected right. industry, connected transport, and so on, connected medicine. And people may not know what's actually going on. There is cool stuff going on. So number one, right. to tell the stories, okay. the cool stuff. Number two is to say, guys, it's actually not as hard as you think. You can get started no matter whether you're a small, medium, or large company, you can get started, and here's a formula to get you into the game. Here's the kind of technology that can really allow you to disrupt your competitors right. and get going, and here's a formula to get started. Okay, so it's here. I'm glad that you know we're, we're in violent agreement on that. Uh, and it's also great to see a roadmap, because I think so many people are confused. They hear it, and they don't know what's going on. So. The book is new, and you have a new role in a pretty young company. I've just joined this month um, a company called Plat One as mm -hmm. CEO. Yep. And Plat One is all about improving the time to value of creating Internet of Things applications. You know, it's all about providing a platform to allow you to rapidly connect to devices, manage those devices at the edge, which right. we, you know, which is b before things touch the cloud, actually, you know, on those routers and gateways at the edge of the network, yep. but also be able to stream information to the cloud, be able to run multi-tenant applications, and be able to deliver those things like smart cities, mm -hmm. like connected products, like smart medicine, smart industrial applications, and so on. So that's what it's about. It's about quick time to value, rapidly being able to plug them together, because if you build them from scratch, it can take 10, 20 sure. times as long trying to piece everything together. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of different machine protocols and complexity at the device right. and edge level. There's a lot of complexity around you know, the, the streaming services to, to get things up and running. So the company has been spun out in, 20, in January 2015. Right. So it, in that way, it's new, but it's been spun out of a consulting company that's had you know many years. It's the, the product's been in development since 2011, and the expertise, the Internet of Things and machine-to-machine -machine practice in this consultancy company called Avodata, which was based in Italy, has been around since 2008. So many advanced projects delivered for you know large telecommunications mm -hmm. companies like um, Deutsche Telekom, Telecom Italia, T-Systems, and, right. and large companies like, for example, the largest manufacturer of coffee machines in Italy. If it, if it, <clears throat> I should know that one off the top of my head. But, Grupo yeah, Chimbali. Yeah, okay. So they, I'll tell you, that's a fun story to tell you about, but, you know, 
everything is becoming connected mm -hmm. and everybody's wanting to deliver connected system. So many years of experience, but then all the intellectual property, the platform that was built to do all this, right. put into Plat One, spun out as a company, and very happy to join a CEO. We're above the device level. Mm -hmm. um, we provide the platform that it depends who yep. we're working with. So some organizations, if they're a, a company that, for example, have you know, applications, right. but they want to connect those applications to real world assets, mm -hmm. then we would connect, we can connect them to the devices regardless of protocol. So okay. in some, sometimes you want to talk to lots of legacy protocols like SCADA, you know, Prodbus, sure. mm -hmm. and, and on all of those kind of uh, uh, legacy building automation or industrial, um, you know, Modbus, Prodibus, and so on. And, and, and uh, sometimes you want to talk to the cutting edge protocols like MQTT or, you know, Zigbee, Wired and Wireless. So we, we support more protocols than I think just about anybody else. 46 machine protocols okay. can allow you to connect to. Connect to those devices on the edge, manage that, and then we can connect you know, those applications to, to those real world assets. But also, for those who want to build end-to-end -end applications, we provide solutions out of the box, as well as a graphical modeling environment that lets you model and abstract your real world devices. So let's say you want to model a smart city, a smart right. street lamp, for okay. example. You might, a street lamp, it has certain properties, you know, you might switch it from dim to bright, for example, um, and you might model a smart vehicle, you know, or a, a car which you're tracking. And, um, but the fact of the matter is, in some implementations of that smart lighting system, right. the, the street lamp might be provided by GE, it might be provided by Philips. You know, the vehicle might be tracked by GPS, it might be tracked by sensors in the road, it might be tracked by infrared, it might be tracked by video. Mm -hmm. So Plat1 can abstract all that out, allow you to talk to the various underlying things, but build an application that models using what we call a semantic data model. A smart street lamp, a smart vehicle, define rules. When a car comes or a truck comes within 100 feet of a street lamp, turn that street lamp on. And then allow the platform to manage all that complexity. Instantiate a thousand street lamps, the thousand street lamps might be from different providers, different configurations, some wired, some wireless. Right. And, and the platform can manage all of that complexity for you. For more insights, I encourage you to follow Dr. Bates on Twitter. That's how we first met. And pick up a copy of his book, too. Thanks.